Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have created this Eid makeup look. Uh, I have tried to keep it as simple as I could for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I created it, please keep on watching. I'm going to start by prepping my face with Max Prep and Prime and I'm going to wait for it to dry. Then I'm going to use Nabila Zero Makeup Palette and I'm going to use this product called Conceal. I use it as an orange character. I have done uh, a video on this palette. Uh, if you want to watch it, I will uh, link it down below in the description box so you can check that out. Um, I'm going to apply this product on areas where I have darkness or hyperpigmentation. Uh, also on my eyelids because they're dark and I want to knock off any color before I go in with my eye makeup. I'm applying it on the sides of my nose and the corner of my lip because they're also dark. Uh, I recently uh, changed my skincare routine and as you can see uh, my face has pimples and darkness and redness all because I broke out. So I'm going to cover that up also and I'm only going to use my finger to blend this product. You can use a brush but I'd suggest that you use your fingers because uh, this product uh, blends very nicely with your finger only. Now I'm going to use Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Define Concealer. Uh, it is a bit of a thick product. Uh, I'm going to use it uh, on the inner corner of my eye, outer corner and uh, a bit on the center. And I'm also going to use it on the corner of uh, my nose and around my lip area as well. But because it is a thick concealer, I decided to opt for um, Maybelline's uh, Age Rewind Concealer for my cheek area uh, uh, because I don't want to layer up a lot of product because I will be applying foundation. So I did not want my foundation to look heavy or cakey uh, and I'm using Real Techniques Concealer Brush to uh, blend the, this product. You can also use your fingers. Um, like I always say, blending with your fingers is always uh, seamless and amazing because the product gets to warm up in your fingers and the finish is really nice. But uh, you can also use a brush like I am and I'm not trying to move around the product. I'm just blending it um, uh, in small strokes, very small motions so that my product doesn't move around and blends nicely as well. For foundation, I'm using Bourjois uh, Healthy Mix uh, foundation. I uh, took out some of the foundation on the back of my hand. I basically took out just one pump uh, and now I'm applying it on my face using my finger. I'm using this makeup sponge by NYX. The reason I used a sponge instead of a brush is because I already have a lot of product on my face and uh, brush se aapka jo uh, look aata hai ya finish aata hai wo kafi heavy aur full coverage hota hai. Uh, sponge mein isliye use kar rahi hu because sponge basically absorbs uh, product aur because mujhe uh, ek uh, non cakey effect chahiye tha kafi seamless aur um, acha finish chahiye tha so i decided to use a sponge now i'm using this uh, ht uh, powder by elf agar under eye area crease ho jaye to please usko apni finger ki madad se theek kar le uh, real technique ka ye uh, powder brush i'm using that to set uh, my face um, basically mera focus t zone aur under eye area hota hai uske alawa brush pe phir jitna product hota hai i use it elsewhere and please never forget your neck. I'm now using this bronzer palette by e.l.f. It has two shimmery shades and two matte shades. I'm going to use the bottom two to slightly bronze my face because I want that warmth back on my face. Uh, I'm not going to contour. Honestly, I've never been a fan of contouring. I always only like bronzing my face because I feel it's very natural. Uh, I'm going to apply some on my jawline to make it a bit sharp on my forehead and uh, a bit on my nose as well. And like I say, whatever you put on your face, you bring it down to your neck. Using the palette Tartlet in Bloom, I'm going to use this shade to fill my eyebrows. I basically always only use this shade because I feel uh, it looks very nice and matches my natural uh, uh, hair color. Uh, you can use anything uh, uh, that you like. Uh, it's totally up to you, but I always like using uh, powder. 
using the same palette i'm going to use this uh, shade on my eyelid first i'll make sure there's no creasing then i'm gonna go a little higher on my crease and i'll use these uh, back and forth uh, swiping motions to um, put the product like place it and then blend it uh, as well now using a, a bit of a lighter shade i'm going to apply it in my crease and i'm going to use the same wiping motions to blend it this is uh, an illuminating eye primer by makeup revolution that um, i'm using on my eyelid because i will be using uh, shimmery shades but you can use a concealer it's totally up to you now i'm using makeup revolution's soft x palette i'm gonna use this very pretty uh, green shade uh, using my finger, I'm just putting um, the eye shade and then with the help of a brush, I'm going to blend it on the inner and outer uh, corner of my eye. Just pack it and slightly blend it. Then from the Tarte palette, I'm using this very pretty gold shade uh, in the center of my eye using my finger only and I'm going to blend it with my finger as well. Now for some smoky effect, uh, I'm using this uh, dark uh, shade uh, on the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to first uh, pack it and with the same brush that I used in my crease, I'm going to blend everything just making sure that there are no harsh lines. Using Super Liner by L'Oreal Paris, this is one of my the most uh, favorite eyeliners because it's just so nice and so black and so precise um, i'm going to make a, a wing but i'm going to stop it midway because i don't do an entire wing because then my eyes look too big for my face um, now using the light brown shade and also the green shade i'm going to apply both of those uh, on my lower lash line uh, to finish off uh, this eye makeup and then I'm going to use a Scandalize Mascara, Scandalize Flex by Rimmel. This is an amazing mascara and if you don't want to apply lashes, I think this mascara would do a pretty good job on its own. But I wanted to be a bit dramatic, so this time I applied lashes. This is Sephora's um, Lip and Cheek uh, Gel Tint. It's a very pretty pink color. It's in the shade Orchid. Um, I'm going to use it on the apples of my cheek. Uh, this gives a very very natural look but you can use a powder blush also uh, now I'm using this uh, uh, stay matte ink by Maybelline this is in the shade lover I believe but I'm gonna put it down in the description box and because I felt it was a bit light so I went with uh, the balms meet matte hues and I blended it with my finger only now using Makeup Revolution's uh, highlighter palette, I'm going to just highlight my cheekbones. I do not put highlighter anywhere else but on my cheekbones only. And from the Tarte's palette, I'm going to use this gold shade on the inner corner of my eye. I got these earrings from Ottoman Jewels. Um, I love those. I hope you like them too. And this is the finished look. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon eid mubarak and bye guys